Hey great drivers, today we're having a look at a distillery exclusive Glenfiddich 15 year old. You can see my gimpy signature on there, bottled by hand by me at the distillery last year, June the 13th, day before my birthday. Um, and yeah, I always love a bottle of your own. Every single distillery should have one. It's a shame and if anything a disgrace if they don't. It's easy money for them. Tourists love it, collectors love it, whiskey nuts go mad for it. I must have about five of these from Glenfiddich. Every time I visit, I do one. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, just how, it, how it goes, isn't it? Um, classic Glenfiddich, beautiful bottle design, the Trowned. Um, and yeah, it's 57.3% ABV, batch 52, bottle number four. Um, as I said, you can only get this at the distillery um, and you have to do it yourself. So you have to put some graft in <laughs> for a couple of minutes as it fills and you fill a, bottle, a full bottle. Um, nice and easy, but yeah, superb. And a nice little experience as well. Um, uh, some of them you can buy pre-hand-filled bottles and you just put your name on the label. But this one you actually do get to go up to them. You choose your bottle from the shelves, they're all the same, but you choose your bottle, choose your cork, write your name in the ledger, write the label, uh, put the bottle underneath uh, the cask. It's got this lovely little fill mechanism where the whiskey comes from the cask up into this glass kind of tube and then you release the lever bosh perfect fill in there and if you overfill it which i did um you don't get to drink some of it not bad eh? unless you're driving drink responsibly everyone um this on the nose it's fruity very appley actually very appley with a lovely little bit of uh, lemon citrus to it quite oaky more than i remember I actually cracked this open an hour after I did the uh, did the actual bottling. I uh, had some downtime between meetings and uh, went back to the hotel, dumped my stuff, all that stuff, all that stuff, and um, grabbed the bottle and walked down to the beach um, in, on the space side in Dufton, or oh, Craig Oakey actually, I was sitting at the Craig Oakey Hotel, down onto the beach, Pebble Beach, and sat there in the rain, the day before my birthday, I had a whiskey to myself, just thought about the last year and you know what's been happening the brilliance of all the great dramas, all of our readers, uh, our independent bottlings, these guys behind the bottle right here, um, how well the book's doing, all that kind of stuff. And just sat there and had a little bit of a moment to myself. Sounds soppy, but it's, I never get to do that. And uh, yes, I had one or two of these on the beach in the absolute <laughs> pouring rain um, before dinner. And it was really, really quite nice. Um, I think it retails at 125 quid. I think that's how much pay I paid for this. Um, but the experience and then everything that happened around it made it well worth it. Second nose is all about the apple. As you freshly cut into an apple and that little spray comes out, green apples, it's just that, that in a glass for me. And a beautiful oakiness, vanilla uh, kind of notes coming through as well. Yeah, that lovely intertwining of apple, vanilla and oak, just perfectly balanced. Mm. Oh, on the palate, it's actually incredibly sweet, incredibly smooth. And then that kind of oaky maltiness kicks in with a bit of a, more of a sharp bitter apple note, um, as well as bitter lemon. Um, mm. And then a gentle spicy finish, which might be down to the ABV. So with this one, we'll add a little bit of water and try it again. See now with water, it opens it up a little bit. Very much the same uh, uh, kind of notes coming through on the nose, albeit a little bit softer. Still that beautiful muted, not muted, that beautiful kind of balanced, oaky, appley, vanillary, lemon citrusy note comes through. Really quite nice. I think actually the lemon comes through a little bit more with water. On the palate, if anything, water has kind of tapered it off a little bit. Still very nice. Um, I think somehow water has actually just uh, taken away a bit of that flavour profile that I loved when it was neat. Um, 
lovely whiskey still sweet but it's yeah i prefer it straight myself uh, without any water in it um but always worth trying both ways especially when you've got a bottle of the stuff you can always pour another one um yeah brilliant glenfiddich brilliant to bottle it myself cheers until next time